All right, hey you guys, we are taking a little break from the turkey vlogs right now because a couple weeks ago, about a month ago probably, we went to Germany after Turkey and we shot a music video with one of my old friends um, that I knew growing up from Tajikistan actually. So basically in this video we're gonna do a behind the scenes of shooting that music video and then also I'm going to talk a little bit about how I shoot in general. Also really quick, that was when we lost our bags. I don't know if you saw on that Instagram. I lost my tripods, my crane, and I only had two batteries and we have chargers. So I shot this whole music video on one, on one battery and one camera. First of all, we did write a script for this video. We kind of had thrown around some ideas before we got to Germany, but the script wasn't really finalized until the night before we started shooting in Germany. That's what, that's what I love about art. It's like that it's play, right? You're just kind of messing around, trying yeah. to find something. Experience. <laughs> and then the song actually has one meaning and the visuals have another. So I'm gonna get Dom to talk about what the song meant when he wrote it. And then also he's gonna explain a little bit what the visuals are about, when, what they wanted to show in this video. Woven Baskets is all about discovering something new about a person. It originally started out as a love song um, an ode to the German North Coast because I discovered that place for the first time um, in my late 20s and was so impressed by it didn't know there was such a beautiful coastline in Germany I love how the video woven baskets kind of shows this treasure hunt this this um, getting to know these secrets about somebody else and some of them are beautiful some of them are um, interesting, intriguing, and then some of them are kind of ugly or nasty or just very um, s revealing. And that's, I mean, for me, a deep relationship is all about trust and about allowing yourself to be transparent with someone else. And I think that comes across beautifully in this music video and how uh, these two kind of strange characters discover a new side of each other. I love the way the weirdness translates in film into film. All right, so when you do shoot a video, when you do shoot a video, often you want to do location scouting. You want to see the locations, find the locations beforehand because if you just show up the day of, a lot of things you have to be very flexible if you show up the day of. With documentary shooting, I actually often do that. I don't have time or I'm not able to go see the locations beforehand, so I just show up and then I have to shoot. But this one Dom found all the locations Dom found all the locations beforehand and it was awesome. He did a really good job at that and found beautiful places. He really made a lot of the, how the video turned out because he did that location scouting beforehand. I recommend it if you can do it. Regarding a shot list, we didn't really create a shot list before the hand. We knew the locations we were doing and we knew the scenes we wanted to do. Uh, for example, we we're like, okay, Anna's gonna hide a basket here or Dom's gonna find a basket here. That's all we knew. I wasn't writing down like, okay, it's gonna be a 50 millimeter shot. I want him to be on the right hand third of the screen. And I'm gonna get over the shoulder from this part. That, uh, you can do that and it does help, but often I don't do that. I do it based off sequences. We do have a paper, you know, we, we write down the sequences we want. We do write down a few specific shots we want. And before all of this, we did look at a few other people on how they shot different music videos and what kind of style we liked and was it symmetrical, was it gonna be all handheld, were we gonna have still shots, stuff like that. But yeah, Cohen the whole time was there checking off, did we have all the shots, did we get, um, asking me, do you feel like you got this whole sequence shot and you're gonna be able to cut together? Because that is something you wanna constantly be reminding yourself because as you're shooting, it's very easy to forget or think you got something but you didn't. That's something I always try to do too, is always getting a little bit extra and, and getting a few shots that are creative that maybe you won't use, but you can always cut in if you want. Yeah, basically getting a variety of shots. So basically how this happened, we shot this all in one day, this whole music video. The first location we went to was at this beach and we went kind of through these mangroves. This is day one shooting with Dom and Anna, film BTS behind the scenes. Thanks for explaining so that. So awkward. <laughs> Tell you about their hair. Wow, look at your hair. Do you see that? Look at that. It's like a helmet. Yeah. Hey, I was just... thinking, did you guys see the, that field to the right with all the hay bales? Yeah, that I looked think pretty we sweet too, huh? Again. Oh, almost. Oh my god. <laughs> I have the worst hiccups right now. Man, we should have brought. Cut out. Oh, no. 
love it. Isn't it so nice? It is kind of nice. Do we have... Okay. Ready? Go. So, so be like looking up like this at trees and leaves and then, and then just start to look down and just look right over the camera over yeah. here. That's where we shot Dom playing the flute on that tree and then he went to the bushes, finds the basket. taking a little longer than we thought, but that's okay. Dominic's doing a great job at acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what their names are yet. We haven't figured that out. We're gonna take a quick photo of them. They have very interesting costumes. And then we're going to location number two. And we went from that location to these hay bales. Little side note, Dom definitely found more locations than we needed, but also you want to be flexible because the hay bales, I think, I'm pretty sure he knew they were there, but they weren't necessarily on the list. And we drove by them and we're like, hey, let's go here first. They look awesome, look so cool. And so we stopped. Dom and Anna were so down to do it. And you, you know, you want actors or a team that's going to be flexible with you. You want a team that's on the same page. We are now getting to location number two. We're gonna be in the field with hay bales. I think it's gonna be cool. All right, so we're now in the hay bales. Hopefully we can get done in one take and then we'll do come in for close up. Okay. Hay bales, hay bale location is finished. Take a quick look. And then after the, so yeah, there was only three locations here. Um, after the hay bales, we went to the forest. The talent are putting up, doing makeup. <laughs> and uh, we're in this beautiful forest. So cool. Ooh. Dominic also is the location scouter. <laughs> Found this place. <laughs> And again, this is at a public place. There's people walking around, biking around. You just have to wait for people to leave or get out of the shot and, you know, get what you need in the time you have. Uh, and then just as the sun was setting, we really almost ran out of time. We got down to the beach and shot that last scene there. So we just climbed down the side of this steep cliff so we can get this next shot for the video. Okay, we're finished! That was really fun. It was wow, super the fun. Shoot, the shoot ended with Justin filming in his undies. I know, did you get a, we got a photo, I think. That is a, that's a mark of a good shoot. <laughs> yeah, it if I don't get into my underwear, idea. it's not a good shoot. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta commit. It was a really lucky day. Um, everything worked well. It was exhausting. Uh, really tops, uh, or we really want to hats off to Anna who went through all this as while being pregnant. <laughs> I'm sure she was exhausted, but yeah, it was a long day. But we did, yeah, got we got it all done. <laughs> so yeah, that was about it. Anna and Dom were so fun to work with. It was so cool seeing the art that they had made and being able to make a music video to their song. The costumes were made by their friend named Amy. We're gonna put links to her work down below if you need costumes made or anything like that. And then also linked obviously to the music video and Dom and Anna's pages and how to find their music and stuff. But yeah, that's about it. If you can find friends that you love working with, you should you know make sure you find keep those people close because uh, that, that often can make or break a project.